Hello viewers, welcome to AP's 5 minute of thermology pearls. The Snellen chart is the most commonly used chart for determining visual acuity. In 1862, Hermann Snellen introduced some scientific standardization into the measurement of visual acuity. Snellen, a Dutch ophthalmologist, succeeded Donders as director of Netherlands Ophthalmic Hospital. He also improved upon and invented a number of surgical procedures including those for entropion, ectropion and trichiasis but is best known for the chart that bears his name. Visual acuity is defined as the ability of the visual system to resolve spatial detail and can be determined by the smallest retinal image whose form can be appreciated. So the smallest object which produces such an image and which can therefore be resolved by the eye subtends the same visual angle at the nodal point of the eye as a cone photoreceptor that is one arc minute or minute of arc. What is an arc minute? This is a protractor showing degrees of an angle. Each degree is divided into 60 arc minutes and each arc minute into 60 arc seconds. They are termed arc minutes and arc seconds to differentiate them from the minutes and seconds of time. So an object to be distinguishable by the eye has to subtend a minimum of one arc minute at the nodal point of the eye. This is the principle on which the Snellen chart is based. The Snellen chart consists of a minimum of seven rows of letters. Sometimes it may contain eight or nine. It consists of black letters on an opaque or retro illuminated background to maximize contrast. There is one letter in the first row, two in the second row and so on. The seventh row has got seven letters. The size of the letters is such that each letter subtends an angle of five minutes at the nodal point of the eye at a particular distance. So the top letter subtends an angle of 5 minutes at the nodal point at a distance of 60 meters. A letter in the second row subtends an angle of 5 minutes at a distance of 36 meters. The other lines subtend an angle of 5 meters at 24 meters, 18 meters, 12 meters, 9 meters, 6 meters and if there is another line at 5 meters. The bars and spaces of each letter subtend an angle of 1 minute at the respective distance. In this case, this bar of the letter A subtends 1 arc minute at 18 meters. The Snellen vision is recorded as a fraction. The numerator indicates the distance between the chart and the patient and the denominator indicates the distance from which a normal person can read that particular line. So if a person reads only the first four lines of the Snellen chart, his vision is recorded as 6 by 18 and it means that a normal person can read the fourth line of the Snellen chart from a distance of 18 meters but this patient can read the same line from only 6 meters. Some countries do not use the metric system and use feet to measure distances. The chart is read from a distance of 20 feet. 6 meters or 20 feet is used because it is the minimum distance at which light rays entering the eye are parallel. An extra point for postgraduate residents only, visual acuity may also be checked at 4 meters. For refractive purposes, a 0.25 diopter negative correction added to the maximum plus or minimum minus refractive correction makes the patient's visual system optically conjugate with infinity when using a 4 meter testing distance. When testing at 4 meters, in addition to the 7 lines, 2 extra lines with letters sized appropriately need to be added for 5 meters and 4 meters. Normal vision would be 4 by 4. Testing may also be done at 5 meters. For illiterates, the Lando Landolt's rings in 4 or 8 directions and the tumbling e-charts may be used. The actual size of each of these letters on the chart can be calculated. We know from trigonometry that tan theta, in this case tan of 5 minutes, is opposite side by adjacent side. Opposite side is the height of the letter, so let us call this h. Adjacent side is the distance at which that letter subtends an angle of 5 minutes. So for the top letter it is 60 meters. So now tan theta that is tan of 5 minutes 
or if we convert it to degrees 5 by 60 degrees is equal to height by 60 so height is equal to tan of 5 by 60 into 60 tan of 5 by 60 is 0 0.001454 multiply that by 60 that gives us 0 0.087264 meters multiply that by 100 to give the size in centimeters so to get the actual size of the letter on the chart multiply 0 0.001454 by the corresponding distance the actual sizes calculated in this way for the other distances are given here so for the height of the letter on the fourth line we multiply by 18 and so on since the degree of illumination can influence the acuity an internally illuminated chart should have a minimum background illuminance of 120 candela per square meter or 120 lux and an externally illuminated chart should have a minimum luminance of one sorry 480 lux newly installed system should have higher illuminations to allow for diminished illumination due to aging this is a conversion chart for visual acuity checked in meters and in feet the minimal angle of resolution for a normal person as we have already discussed is one minute for lesser visual acuity it can be calculated as follows write down the snell in visual acuity take the inverse of that and by simple division you get the minimal angle of re uh, resolution in other words for a person with 6 by 60 vision only if two points subtain an angle of 10 minutes instead of the normal one minute minute will it be discernible to the eye despite being popular in clinical practice the snellen chart has some disadvantages the number of optotypes on each line is different Spacing between the letters on different lines is also different. There is a non-uniform decrease in size of letters from top to bottom. All the letters used on the chart are not equally legible. And finally, the background luminance is different with different manufacturers. So that's it for today. If you like what you saw, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to never miss an update from AP's 5 minute ophthalmology pearls. You may watch my other videos by clicking on the thumbnails. Please leave a note in the comment section if you wish for any particular topic to be covered in future. Look forward to weekly updates. Thank you for watching.